Under this unit, you will discuss that meaning and definitions and different principles of organizing. The theory is focused on describing the different stages of human growth. What is PERT? That is Program, Evaluation, Review, Techniques. Namaste my dear students. Shubha Hebahio, Faculty of Commerce, Vidyashrama First Grade College, Mysore, the Temple of Excellence. Dear students, the term management is one of the nearest term which we have heard so many times in our casual life. Yes, without managing ourselves, we can't manage or we can't control others. Yes, the term management is one of the important term, but here the purpose of using the term management is quite different that our national education policy introduced new syllabus that the national education policy newly introduced the subject is the management principles and applications yes here the term is belongs to the scientific study of business enterprises how to start the business how to plan the business enterprises how to organize how to lead and how to control the business activities. Yes, dear students, a warm welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss what are the content comprised by your syllabus. Dear students, one can notice ubiquitous announcement that opening shortly under new management. What does it indicate? Or what is the hidden message behind it? And those companies that are managed well always trying to get list in fortune 500 and there are so many companies that well managed just want to find place in fortune 500 list what is the success story behind this yes the answer is that efficient management system who are not able to lead with efficiently and effectively he will get lost and who are able to lead with efficiently and effectively and who are able to manage with efficiently and effectively he will get list that is why there is a high essentials to study the management principles and applications dear students once again welcome to the session in this session we are going to discuss different content comprised by your syllabus introduced by that national education policy yes these are all different units and this is five credit course. Yes, the first unit is introduction to management. Here you will study that meaning, nature, scope and different things about the introduction part of that management, the subject introduction here. And next other different functions of management that is planning, organizing and third chapter is leadership and the last controlling so there are five chapters then let us discuss briefly okay so this is the first chapter and its content the first one that introduction to management under this chapter we will study that meaning and definitions of management yes meaning and definitions yes what is planning yes the term management is refers to the process of getting activities completed efficiently and effectively with and through other people and attain the predetermined goal so that is management and different leaders has given the definition about the management that also will be discussed in this chapter and the nature and scope and characteristics of management different levels of management top level middle level and lower level of management also will be discussed under this content and what is the differences between administration and management and also we will be discussed about the different functions of management yes what are the different functions of management so that is planning organizing staffing directing controlling so those are all different functions of management will be discussed under this content and the next the contributions of fw taylor and henry file yes 
the first chapter introduction to management just focus on concepts of management and and it also discuss about the leaders of management that frederick bunslaw taylor and henry fuel just their leader of management contributed to management science by their valuable theories yes that f w taylor frederick bunslaw taylor he is a father of scientific management okay so that's contributions of these two leader of management is very important and in this chapter we will discuss and next yes the second unit is planning so the planning is one of the important functions of management and here also that you will learn about meaning and definitions of planning planning means selecting the information and making the assumption regarding the future and to formulate the activities what types of activities to reach the predetermined goal or business objectives so that is planning without planning we can't run the business in a better manner is it so that is why just the topic is very important that is meaning and definition and different characteristics of planning and importance what are the importance and if you are making plan properly what are the benefits of planning so that will be discussed under this planning and next we will discuss about the different steps in planning and what are the types of planning yes the short range plan and long range plan and strategic plan and operational plans there are several types of planning but here are discussing the strategic and operational plans under the operational plans that is single use plan and standing plan so there are different types of planning also will be discussed and limitations of planning one of the important concept that is decision making concept okay this is the second unit of that management principles and applications and move forward that is organizing yes one of the important functions of management so what steps are to be taken for leading the business so that is one of the important activity is organizing under this unit you will discuss that meaning and definitions and different principles of organizing the principles of unity of objective the principles of flexibility the principles of efficiency the principles of division of works so these are all coming under different principles of organizations there are 14 principles it is important questions for 15 marks okay and the next one the formal and informal organizations so there are different types of organizations the formal and informal organizations also if there is a directly connected with the top level to that low level it is if directly coming from the top to a uh, low level it is informal so these are all different content about the formal and informal organizations and with this we are discussing the different types of organizations that is that functional organizations formal and informal organizations matrix organizations team based organizations and these are all one of important types of organizations with this we will discuss about the departmentation and decentralization and delegation of authority so these are all important topics to be covered in this unit for study purpose and the next is leadership under this unit that meaning of course we will study the meaning we will study the leadership through the meaning and what are the different qualities of good leadership what are the different types of leadership also will be discussed here we will be discuss important that is motivation concepts and theories that is that maslow hierarchy of needs and that hasberg's dual factor theory and that mcgregor's theory x and y so these three important theories yes that maslow hierarchy of needs one of the important theory it is called the theory of human motivation and the theory is focus on describing the different stages of human growth that important theory that maslow hierarchy of needs and next second one that hasberg's dual factor theory yes that hasberg dual factor theory it consists that motivators and hygiene factors and challenging work 
that talent recognition, that increased responsibility. So these are all content is discussed under this theory, the dual factor theory by Husberg. Okay. And the next one, McGaugus. And this important theory of X and Y. What is the theory of McGaugus X and Y? Yes, the theory is focused on self-control and responsible jobs. Yes, the theory X is related to that exclusive reliance of external control and human behavior. And the, the theory Y is related to self-control and self-regulations. Yes, that's the quite differences between theory X and theory Y is, yes, the one is treating the people like children and another one is treating the people like mature adults. That's it. So this is the different content inherent in this unit. And the last unit of this syllabus is controlling. So this is also one of the important functions of management. Yes, the control means that monitoring the activities, that ensuring the activity which have already planned. So that is controlling and the definitions given by different different leaders of management so that will be discussed under the controlling and then importance of control and what are the different steps of controlling and the techniques so what are the important techniques that is one is PERT what is PERT that is program evaluation review techniques so what is PERT that is program evaluation review techniques so this is PERT and next CPM that is critical path method. So that is important network techniques which is used in planning and controlling of management. Okay, so this is CPM, PERT and next one JIT. So that JIT just in time it is inventory management method. So these are all different techniques, techniques of control and also you will discuss that need for coordination so another one topic will be discussed under the control unit so that is coordination and need for coordination and what are the principles of coordination the coordination is very necessary to manage the business is it the coordination among that employees the coordination among the directors and employers just coordination is very important and that's principle different principles of coordination also will be discussed under this unit so dear students, these are all five important units introduced through management principles and applications and some important topics you might have studied in your earlier classes but here we will be study quite deeply. And next discuss that that your internal portions. Yes, there will be 100 marks that 40 marks for internals and 60 marks for your external exams. Yes, that internal for 40 marks and external for 60 marks total 100 marks and your internals there are two internals and the first internal for 30 marks here we are conducting the internals for 30 marks and afterwards make it 20 okay just keep in your mind afterwards we'll make it for 20 marks two chapters for first internal and the next three chapters for second internals and yes of course it will become 60 marks and afterwards we will make it for 40 marks okay and the final marks will be awarded on the average of two internals so this is the marks pattern and that your internal portions and move forward what is the exam question paper pattern for your 60 marks so there are three parts that first one part a part b part c part a that two mass questions will be there and you have to write five answer for five questions and next 10 marks questions will be there and you have to attend two questions and in the 15 marks you have to write two questions and choice will be there okay yes two marks five you have to write 10 marks and 10 marks two you have to write 20 marks and 15 marks two you have to write 30 marks totally 60 marks one of the best question paper pattern and you can score easily okay and this is your question paper pattern yes for 10 and 15 marks you can focus on first one two three chapters and if you want to take more marks which means you have to attend for two marks questions you have to read you have to study quite deeply 
okay and the next one the skill development activities yes your national education policy just focused on the skill development activities that's why it introduced a new syllabus with different skill based activities with studying this chapter you have to work with the skill development the activities different skill development activities yes first the visit any business organization and you have to collect the different planning so what they have adopted by them yes how they have planned for improving their business then it will help to you also okay you can take any biodata and photographs of any two leading contributors you can take fw taylor or henry fuel or that mcgrogers so that it is one of the important activity you have to collect the biodata and information regarding the those leaders okay yes next analyze the leadership style of any selected five companies of different sectors here you can getting the information by different different companies which belongs to different they like public sector and that also as well as private sectors here you can visit any manufacturing units identify the controlling system followed how they will control that business enterprises you may visit different different industries which manufactured different different products and the next the draw the organization chart of any two business concern so these are the different skill development activities which has to be done by you what is the outcomes why we have to study yes after studying these are all what is the outcome or why we have to study this and why we have to study this you will be able to understand and identify the different theories that different theories like x and y theory and frederick winslow theory and henry fuel theory so just you are able to understand the theory and how to apply that okay and next compare to choose the different types of motivation factors and leadership style so how to lead it and what are the different problems to lead any business enterprises and how to motivate the employers so these are all different practical things you will understand by this subject yes so this is your management principles and applications yes dear students this is one of the important subject introduced by the national education policy it is one of the highly essential subject matter in the present era yes i am taking this time to say thanks to you all for being a part of this discussion thank you my dear students